So let's say you've got data in a Superbase table in a database, and you'd like to have that information be viewable and actually editable from somewhere like Google Sheets. Is that even possible? If it is, is it hard to set up? How long does it take? I'm gonna show you that it's actually not only possible, but it's really, really easy to do, and you can set it up in just a few minutes. And to show you, I'm actually gonna set it up right now, start to finish. So I've got this table in Superbase, and I'm gonna use a cool a tool called WhaleSync, a cool tool called WhaleSync to actually make the connection and I'll do it all right now. So yeah, let's get started. If you don't have an account with WhaleSync, you can create one 14 day free trial. I've got an account, so I'm just gonna log in and click create new sync. Now, like I said, we're going from Superbase to Google Sheets, so we'll click on Superbase here, authorize that. Just a normal OAuth screen that pops up. Make sure you have the right organization selected. If you have multiples, I just have one, so that's the only one to do there. And then, uh, Wilson is going to look at that and see what's available in there project-wise. It sees that I've got my 11D directory site. It's already picked that, so we can just save that connection. Now, like I said, for the second one, we're going to use Google Sheets. So we'll click on Google Sheets, and it's going to ask us for a URL. So I just go sheets.new. That creates a new spreadsheet for me. Grab that URL from the URL bar. Come down here, paste that in. Click Authorize. Obviously, I could have just clicked the sheets.new link that's right there. Now it's going to ask me to choose an account. I do that. You've probably done this hundreds of times with other tools. Nothing new or interesting here, just clicking through some auth screens. All right, now we're in there, and we've got our untitled spreadsheet, and it's asking us to save. Let's real quick change the name of this, though. Let's just say um, Superbase CMS as the name. And let's then see if we can reauthorize and end. Actually, no, let's do that on the next screen. I think we'll be able to ref. Yeah, oh, sorry, it already refreshed it right there. So there we go. Superbase CMS is the name of it. All right, let's continue. So, what are we doing now? Okay, this is where we've got our table in Superbase. Uh, maybe we had, you know, five or 10 tables. We just, this is the one that I want. It's called directory listings. And this is where we. We select that table and we can do multiple tables, but in this case, we'll just do one. We say, this is the table of data that I want actually connected directly to the same data in Google Sheets. And we could grab sheet one here, but let's just create a new sheet, right? Let's just have it do the naming for us. So we'll click create table mappings. It's gonna, WellSync's actually gonna go into our Superbase sheet. It's gonna create one, so here it is, it's directory listings, and it'll add its ID column there. Once that's done, it's going to go through, just double check that everything's ready. It is. And now we're mapping the data. Now, this couldn't look and sound scary, but it's actually as simple as just picking which columns that you want to exist in both places. And it's actually extremely simple to set up because we can just copy those directly from Superbase. So we'll pick everything here. The ID was already included the first time. We'll hit copy fields and all we're going to do now is wait for um, the Google Sheets API basically to respond to WhaleSync's request to create some columns. So, yeah, maybe have another sip of coffee or something. All right, we should be almost done. Let's see how many we've got left. Three to go, two. Some of these are faster. Airtable's super fast. Um, if you're creating in Superbase, it's super fast. Google Sheets and Notion tend to be a little bit slower, but that's just because of the way that their APIs are written. All right, here we go. Data has been um, selected to be moved, so we've got our columns in these tables. Again, directory listings is the table name in Superbase, and then uh, directory listings is the table name in Google Sheets, and then the columns in Superbase are here. And we've got those on the left, and they've all been created over here in Google Sheets, which are the ones on the right. Now, I could hit save and continue because I'm actually done here, but I just want to show you quick before I do that. If you wanted some of this data to only go one way and not two ways, you can do that at the whole table level, or you can do it at the individual column level. So if there's certain things that you don't want to be editable from, from Google Sheets, you can actually just change it at the column level to make it a one-way sync to Google Sheets from Superbase and that will no longer be editable. Now, if you need some filters, you can set those up here. We don't for this use case, so let's just save and continue and activate the sync. All right, we are just waiting for the initial records to start moving. This should just take a couple of moments. Whale sync is scanning Superbase. Looks like they've already started moving some records over, so let's see if those are gonna start showing up here. While we're here, let's go ahead and just delete this sheet. Okay, all right, so here we've got one record. 
an urban park, Manhattan, everything. Um, and it's okay. You can move these columns around to get them how you want them. So there we go. That's our data from Superbase in Google Sheets. That's We're done. So if you're wondering how long it takes to do this, that's how long it takes to do this for a use case like this. Now, that said, let's play around with this a little bit so you can see what's really going on. So we could be in here. We could create a new one. So we could say, here's a demo entry, and it's just another place. And then as far as the latitude and longitude, we can just grab those. And you know, one of the things that's cool here is that we actually have the full power of Google Sheets. So maybe we do um, this minus 0 0.001. Right, so now you can see that the number's a little bit different. I'm using cell formulas, right? So um, you can you can pretty much do anything Google Sheets that you want on this side, and anything Superbase that you want on this side, and that's that's totally fair. Now let's refresh this one to see if we have any data showing up yet. Oh, sorry, let me close that. All right, not yet. So because we don't see anything, we can go to Whale Sync and we can see what's happening. So it looks like we've created the two records. Now we're waiting for changes, and full scan is going to happen in four minutes. Well, let's just do that now. So we can click full scan now. It's going to grab those. Should see our new record. There it is. It's moving it over to Superbase. It's done. We can see the details of it here, but why not just go to Superbase and look at it there? Again, like this UI doesn't refresh, so you have to kind of do it yourself sometimes. Um, there we go. So demo entry, just another place. We just created a record in our Superbase Postgres database from Google Sheets. How cool is that? Uh, you can imagine client, uh, you know, clients that want to work with certain parts of the data. You can create a custom one of these just for them and filter it by what they need. Uh, or staff directories. Huge, huge, huge benefit when you can just give this right to the personnel people. They can be updating your app or your website directly from the spreadsheets that they use to manage who's actually you know where and doing what, which we know that they almost always are doing that in a spreadsheet, not in a CMS. Um, but now you can make the place where the information actually is the place where the information comes from. And then just to show this works both directions, let's, uh, let's maybe change this. We'll put the number three on the end there, and maybe we'll insert one new row. So let's make this another row, and nothing to say really other than hello YouTube. All right, cool, that's probably enough for this one. We'll save that. There's our new record. Let's take a look in WhaleSync, see what's going on. It looks like we've had an update. And, oh, we've got to create as well. So let's look in here. There we go. Uh, description. So nothing to say really other than hello YouTube. So that's how simple it is if you've got data in Superbase and you want to be able to view, manage, edit it directly from Google Sheets. Check out a tool called WhaleSync. Makes it super, super easy to do. You can be up and running in just a few minutes. And there's a lot more powerful stuff. So be sure to check out some of the other videos on the channel or leave a question in the comments below if you have something specific that you're trying to do and there's anything that I could do to help unblock you. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.